give you a quick idea about kind of what is a portfolio and uh, and what you need to consider. So obviously when you're submitting your art and design um, application, you'll be asked to submit a portfolio. And what you want to do here is you want to think about a carefully kind of curated, curated collection of your work. It's your chance to show off your style, your personality, your skills and your passion. Um, it's not just a, a perfectly polished document. We want to see a thought process, idea development. Um, there are no set rules for what a portfolio is. Um, each one um, we see is different. Um, so um, some ideas development, you may want to use sketchbooks, mood boards, experimentation, risk taking. Um, you can see here some, um, some ideas um, that students have used in the past. Um, you want to stand out, so it's some unique experience that you can show us, personal projects, collaborative work. Um, show us your character, show us who you are, who you want to be, who you're growing to be. Um, what to include, this varies depending on the programme, so do check this out, but about 15 to 20 pieces of work is normally ideal. Um, try and show us a mixed type of work, so um, it's not just about having just sketchbooks or just sculptures. Try and show us a mixed kind of approach to your work, so it's maybe, maybe a couple of projects will do uh, will be kind of uh, pictures from your sketchbook some will be sculptures um, when you're doing photography um, you know think about things that will inspire, inspire you maybe kind of some developmental work that you were using different types of materials and patterns textures and environments so it's all it's all about showing us kind of the the way in which you've got to your project as well um, you know when you're thinking about digital look at graphics images drawings animations as well animations is a great way to kind of sometimes show some of your digital work as well and films don't be afraid to use kind of uh, films either kind of moving images um scripts photographs short movies uh, all of this is you're able to include in your um your um portfolio we're not too prescriptive um, sketchbooks are um, really important as well, um, but it's often you know not that important to show us your final finished pieces of work. Sometimes we want to see kind of uh, idea development, um, and that's what a lot of people use their sketchbooks for. It's a lot. It's a lot of it's idea development or thinking out loud um, through a, through your sketchbook. Um, so um, don't be afraid to just kind of show us pictures um, or take picture, a few pictures of your your um your sketchbook that kind of demonstrate um your project development and kind of creative process and how you think and how you kind of develop your work through your sketchbook um kind of thinking sometimes a lot of people think of a sketchbook as kind of a workings book um so it's it's fine to kind of not show us all of it but to show us a, a couple of pictures that show us your your ideas um, life drawing, same subject um, in a different media. So start, start, uh, strong start and a, and, and a finish. And here you can see um, kind of you know, how it started and kind of where it went to. Um, so again, don't be afraid to show us the, the kind of things that may not look kind of uh, polished and finished and, and pretty. It's all about kind of showing us um, beginning to end, really. Um, Again, this is just some examples that you can you know you can kind of show us the different uh, just just ways of kind of presenting your work as well. Um, try and be kind of show us different color palettes, um, different perspectives. Um, yeah, uh, presentation. Um, it's really important to show us um, diverse photographs. Um, so. Um, try and show us, um, so for example, when for taking photography, some people just think about um, images and digital. If you've just done digital images, maybe explore analog, try and think differently about kind of how you're presenting your, your photographs. Um, quality is always important. Some students um, forget sometimes that we need to exactly see what we're seeing. So make sure everything that you're showing us is easily digestible. Um, subtle labeling. Um, so make sure that um, you're um, labeling your work. We don't want lines and reams of text, but it's normally a good idea to show size, media, um, and um, and sometimes it's really important to um, to just give it a short kind of um, overview, maybe one or two lines. You don't have to, but sometimes students like to just give a bit of a kind of a context, one or two lines. But don't don't if you if you can't explain any of your work when you're talking over it, don't include it as well. The subtle label, subtle subtle labeling kind of guides us through your process as well. And a lot of the times in the programs we do 
offer an interview and that will give you a bit more of a chance to talk over your work as well um so your storytelling it should your 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 storytelling it should tell you kind of it should tell us a bit about who you are some of the ideas that you want to develop on the program uh, we want to see some kind of some core concepts around your portfolio it shouldn't just be kind of singular pieces of work that have that bear no relation to one another we, it should be something telling us a bit about you who you are what you want to develop on the program um, and presenting kind of core issues and um concerns and interests that are important to you um, when it comes to photographing your work um, take care when 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 uh, taking pictures and when you're working with lighting layout and background sometimes it's really important when you're photographing your work to um to try and give us some context of your work and what i mean by that is um when you take a photo of some of your work try not to crop it um, to you know everything to the edge of the, the piece of work. Sometimes taking a photo of your piece of work in a door frame uh, or with the ceiling in the picture is good because it gives us an idea of scale, perspective, size. Sometimes students, they, they're really focused on just showing that final piece of work and they'll crop out everything that's not in there. Sometimes it's good for us to see an idea of scale and it gives us an idea of lighting and a bit of the context in, in terms of uh, what you are working with as well. Um, again, when you're photographing your work, don't be afraid to show us some of the unfinished pieces of work as well, which can be really important. Um, when when submitting your portfolio, um, the key thing is to, to to ensure that you 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 um you make sure that the portfolio as is as accessible as possible. Um, for example, um, uh, when you're looking at a platform, think about um you know. A platform may be really readily available, um, like Nava is really available, neighbor, so it's really kind of readily available in Korea. Um, but a blog post may be kind of more difficult for us to access in the UK. So to think about the platforms that you're presenting uh, your portfolio work on and make sure that, you know, you, you've maybe tested it out with a colleague in the UK or a friend in the UK, just to, just to make sure that it's compatible and, that uh, um, you know, it's very easy for us to access. Think about, you know, maybe using, uh, you know, universal um, sites like uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, Flickr, and think about using YouTube and Vimeo for moving images. Um, even think about developing your own website. Um, that can be really good, especially if you've got loads of different types of projects and different types of media. Um, a website can be really e like neat for you to organize your work, but more often than not, um, a portfolio in, through a PDF format is, is equally fine as well. It just depends on the type of work that you're putting across. Try it out on different computer systems. Maybe uh, try it out on um, Safari, on Google Chrome, on Firefox, just to make sure it works, on a Mac, on a Windows, just to make sure it works and you can access it just in case our um, academic tutors are using a different uh, uh, computer to or type of computer to yourself. Don't put any encryptions, or passwords, or logins, and essentially make it user-friendly. I mean, if you've got any large files, make sure you uh, put them in a zip folder or put them into a Google Drive um, so they're, they're easily accessible. Um, I'll skip this because this is more for music. Um, and yes, that's me. That's my email address. Um, and um, I'm happy to take any questions now, but I think we've gone over. So I think I have to start the one-to-one -one session.